Leo, you're getting us now. Yeah, 3 0 doing the return, and that's uh, still full, full signal, Dave. So, uh, certainly the switching locations definitely uh, definitely made the difference. Um, as I said, second time up with this, I'm not 100% sure how it, uh, how it all works, Dave. When I bought it, I got the SD card with uh, um, all the uh, repeaters and whatnot programmed into it, so just been a bit of that, and then uh, watching a couple of your videos program up, you know, the, the other side of it up just for local. Uh, <laughs> local nets and whatnot, but uh, nice radio, it's certainly, uh, you know, it's really loud and punchy audio, so quite happy with it, but actually uh, had a couple of drinks last night and ended up ordering the 51, the handheld, so um, and that's going to be another di addition to the shack, mate, go ahead. 63, you've got more radios than sense, mate, or more money than sense, one of the two. Yeah, yeah. No, you sound absolutely loud and clear, mate. It's decoding instantly. It's a lot better race simplex than what it is over the Raspberry Pi, over the network. Mine takes ages to decode for some bizarre, strange reason. I don't know why, mate. But that's on my vertical, and that's genuinely 5 watts of power. So how many feet above sea level are you, bud, would you say? Um, 63 DMW returning. I think it's probably around 1,000, Dave, but as I say, it's not, you know, it's not really any peaks. Around here, there's uh, it's pretty built up right, you know, right the way around. But um, I can actually see, you know, the black comb. Is it? Um, I can see that from here. Normally, I'm a bit round, and there's, you know, there's a um, there's a fell in the way. Uh, but you know, I normally work at five watts just off the. I think it was the 4800 I last year for a DMR with you. Um, but as I say, I mean, I keep forgetting I've got this one <coughs> myself, and you know, I, I, I'll always set the radios for the lowest power. But um, I think it was I opened the last week, the 99100, I was testing it, I took it down to the boat, I was just for a couple of the last few years, and uh, obviously we'd been a, a full, full member co with the call sign, obviously had the NOV for the call sign, um, we had it run at additional 100 watts, so I mean it was, I think I watched about 40 contacts on the Saturday morning, that was really my first uh, foray to HF, so it was pretty nerve wracking with Dave, but uh, there was a lot of good contacts, you had a couple on 15 metres state side, so Certainly a nice uh, radio. So I don't, I don't know if you remember um, Mike. Mike Moffat. He was. Uh, he's been back and forth. Obviously with the. I think it was the 400. He was looking at. Then he was looking at the, this Icon 5100. And I spoke to him last night. And I think he's finally decided on the 991. Where about you? 63. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm still a bit bitter, mate. What happened with mine? As you know. So do you know, I don't know if this sounds any better than what System Fusion does or not, mate. I don't think it sounds any better, I'd say it's pretty much on par with it. Um, but I don't ever remember you giving me this kind of signal, mate, from where you're at. It must be just excellent conditions or... Well, I, I, I don't know what it is, but it's uh, it's superb, mate. Because we, we normally work at UHF a lot of the time, don't we? Um, but yeah, it's surprised there's quite a lot of D-Star activity I pick up round here and over the Bay Area. And a bit further afield, mate. So, it never ever gets used, to be fair, mate. Um, I can't, in fact, I can't even remember the last time I was on here. Having a QSO on D Star Simplex. So I'm back in another video as well, bud. Uh, <laughs> I I haven't done a D Star one for a Simplex one for quite a while, mate, so it'll be it'll be quite novel. They don't seem to be quite as popular as the DMR ones though. Uh, so I've just been messing with that DMR, that TYT on VHF. Put loads of shouts out, mate. Not a sausage, nobody about. <coughs> M sixty H three. Uh, 0 Delta November whiskey returning. Um, as I say, with my idea, you know, being down in the bottom of working there, it's absolutely a waste of time for me. Um, I've just got the program and laid, I think I was talking to you about it a couple of days ago for the High Terror, so fingers crossed we can, you know, get a code book into there and uh, start using it a bit more because it certainly is a nice radio, um, especially now, you know, we get up on mobile. It was a bit more than the 5 watts, but uh, I'd say the last time I worked at D, uh, DM. Ah, DMR, sorry. Um, I was about probably half a mile away from where I am now, just on the handheld with the with the rubber duck. Um, what does I say? That was, uh, I think it's the 4800, that model. You can't actually put an external antenna on it. So, I wish I'd run into that before I bought it. But, uh, as I say, now, you know, pretty much that peak I was on when I was speaking to you last, that's in between us now, Dave. But, I say, a little extra power. Uh, and I should have mentioned it's a new studio antenna. I'm trying, it's just the dual band, this one, so... I kind of hoping it wouldn't whip about as much in the wind as the tri band, but um, certainly working uh, certainly working well, Dave. It sounds really nice. Um, as I say, that one seems to have a contact on um, ESO Fusion. I, uh, I, I wouldn't remember what it sounded like, mate. Uh, 